Welcome back to Art Class with Miss Chris. Today we're going to focus on one of my favorite types of dogs, the Bulldog. We're actually going to do a French Bulldog. Um, I've always wanted a French Bulldog. I hope to have a French Bulldog one day, even though I hear they're really hard puppies and they chew up everything. I still want one someday. So what we're going to need for this project is a pencil with an eraser or an eraser on the side. You'll need a type of black marker, black Sharpie for outlining. This project's gonna be very graphic in nature, very outlined and colored in. A variety of markers. I picked pink, blue, red, brown for the dog's nose, and a gray. And let's get started with our French Bulldog. Now, I'm gonna decorate my dog in a style um, and the style that I'm thinking of and decorating is based on a festival in Mexico. And it's actually a lot of different people celebrate this all throughout our country and the world. And the festival is called Dia de los Muertos. And this is a day that the Mexican culture celebrates their loved ones that have passed. And it's very decorative. Um, so we're, I'm going to decorate my French Bulldog in this style just to give it more interest. I'll show you the one that I've completed that I had a lot of fun with. And you can see how it's not just any French Bulldog. It has a lot of different decorations and styles. And I even named my French Bulldog Jen. And anyways, you can put a tag on your French Bulldog and name your French Bulldog anything you want. And you can decorate your French Bulldog any way you want as well. Maybe you don't even want to decorate your French Bulldog and keep it more of just the face of the dog. So that'll be your choice, but I'm going to decorate mine. So here we go with how to draw a French Bulldog's face. So we need to leave room for the ears of the French Bulldog because they're actually pretty big and tall. So we're gonna have the ears coming up. So we wanna start, leave room for the ears. I would leave at least this much room above. And so what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna start my French Bulldog about right here. This is gonna be the top of, I'm gonna call my French Bulldog a girl, the top of her head. So I'm gonna start here and I'm gonna make two small hills, kinda in the middle of my paper, okay? Doesn't have to be perfect, but center it as much as we can, okay? Two small hills. And that's gonna be the top of my puppy's head. Now from here, we're gonna work side to side on this piece because I think that'll help us create symmetry. Um, and when I say symmetry, I mean an even type of drawing so things are not off-centered. It doesn't have to be perfect, but if you have a little teeny ear and a really big ear, it's not gonna look good. So we wanna do as much as we can to keep things symmetrical. So French Bulldogs have these really cute ears that come up. I'm gonna come up about, about that tall, okay? And then I'm gonna curve around. So I did that. And I'm not gonna go straight down because they're, I'm gonna make my Frenchie have little curving ears. They call them little Frenchies. They're so adorable. I just love them. Okay, see how I did that? Now I'm gonna try to take my time, and you're hearing my dog in the background, which is a, po a poodle that barks literally at everything. Drives me crazy, but I love her. So I'm gonna come up here and try the same thing on this side. My poodle um, that I have at home is a rescue that we found on a road trip and we named her Rita. So we're gonna come up. So when you hear that little barking sound, that's Rita. And I'm gonna try to do the same ear on this side. Okay, a little curving. 
Um, I can already tell that this ear looks a little bigger than this ear. See how this is a little wider? So I'm just gonna adjust a little bit and make this one a little wider and erase. And that's one thing that's gonna help as you go along drawing. Drawing should not be too, don't get, don't be frustrated when you draw. Sometimes it's so frustrating. Just know you just need to look at things and work on seeing things. Okay, this looks a little wider. Okay, I'm gonna adjust that and erase it out. And that's how you get better at it, is you train your eye to see. All right, so now we're gonna come down and we're gonna work on the French Bulldog's side of the face going up to the snout. So I'm gonna come down here and this is gonna be the side of his face or her. Maybe you want a boy, French Bulldog, come out. And then I'm gonna think right now is gonna be my dog's kind of cheeks, flappy cheeks. Now, one thing I love about the Bulldog is that their faces are really kind of scrunchy. And I know actually from learning about the Bulldogs that this is not good, for, not good, because it makes, it, it, it's hard for them to breathe, especially in the heat makes for a really cute dog, but it is hard on them. So see how I came through here and I went out right here. It's going to be where I'm going to go into my cheek, but I'm going to want to create the same thing over here. So I'm going to come over here. I'm going to kind of curve down, down around. When I'm drawing on this side, I'm kind of looking on this side with my eyes to see, oh, okay, how can I mimic this the best I can? I'm gonna come around and I'm gonna do the cheek. Remember that little cheek that I did over here? It's kind of a bump that comes out. All right, there's the same thing. Now, we're gonna take these little cheeks and we're gonna come up and create the mouth. So I'm gonna come up and I'm gonna make a hill that goes up. And I'm gonna come over here to this other cheek and I'm gonna make a hill That goes up. So can you see how that now looks like? Maybe the mouth. And next thing I'm gonna do is add the chin and this is gonna help. So you're gonna be able to see, see this face come together. I love drawing animals, I always have, ever since I've been a little kid. I've loved drawing cats and dogs and zebras and elephants and any kind of animal. I love drawing lions. It's just really fun to do. Okay, so now I have a Frenchie's chin. This is gonna be the mouth, okay? The head, the ears. Now, what do you think we're gonna put here? Let's put the French Bulldog's nose. Now, the French Bulldog's nose kind of looks like a heart, okay? So that'll help. It's kind of a little, smushed and pudgy nose. So I'm gonna think of it as kind of a heart. So right here above this line, I'm just gonna make an area that kind of looks like that. See how that is? Okay. Now I'm gonna come on the other side and I'm gonna come up I'm gonna go on the other side, create my symmetry, come up. All right, we're gonna go into the nostril. In for the nostril. Now when I work one side and then I go and work the other side, that really helps me. Instead of doing all at once, when I'm, I just go, I do the other side, and then I try to mimic it, because my brain just did it. So it makes it easier to do it on the other side, because it's kind of like my brain knows that I just did it just like that. I'm gonna come out, and here's where the heart, you're gonna start seeing the heart. Come out and down. I'm gonna come out and down. Now I'm gonna look for symmetry. That area looks a little lopsided. I'm gonna make, go 
go over here and make this one a little bigger so we have more symmetry. And you know what? I've seen a lot of little French Bulldogs and they're not all perfect. They have little lopsided noses and stuff too, so. All right, can you see that nose? Can you see how it kind of looks like a heart when we really draw it out? All right, there's my Frenchie's nose. And I'm actually gonna make that brown later. Now we need to draw the French Bulldog's eyes. So I'm gonna come up and I'm gonna draw some guidelines that I'm gonna erase, okay? I'm gonna make a guideline right now that goes down here. And then I'm gonna make a guideline that kind of goes through here. See how I did that? Looks like a cross. This is gonna help me so I don't have one eye up here and one eye down here. I want both eyes to be on this plane. So here we go. I'm gonna, here's the side of the nostril. I don't wanna make the start of the eye in, like here. I want it to be outside of the nostril. So see, I'm gonna start my eye here. I don't wanna start it here, because it would be too close. It wouldn't look right. So I'm gonna think of two almonds or hills. And big, they're kind of, they're cute little eyes that kind of look like this hill over here. I'm going go on my other side. Remember, remember what I said on this side? Oh, this, I'm going to fix this a little bit. This nostril is just way too tall. There we go. Okay. On the outside, I'm going to draw a hill on my French Bulldog's eye. Now I'm gonna bring that hill, do a bottom hill, like so. A bottom hill, like so. All right, now I can erase my guidelines because I don't need them anymore. And now I have some eyes. Now we need to put some eyeballs inside of them, okay? So I'm just gonna, just gonna come in here like that. I'm gonna put two bubbles for highlights. I'm gonna do the same thing over here. And I'm gonna make two bubbles for highlights, meaning I'll keep those white. Now you can see, it looks like a little French Bulldog's face already. I'm gonna bring my French Bulldog's body down. Actually, he looks kind of worried. I wish he didn't look so sad. I'm gonna bring my French Bulldog's body down. Here's a fun part, you put a collar on your French Bulldog. So I'm gonna make a collar. Now you can make any shape of a tag. I made a heart shape on my last French Bulldog, but if you want, you can just make a regular old dog tag like this, a little bigger than the collar, and then put your dog's name on it. My last dog was a female and I named her Jen. But this dog looks like a male for some reason. And I'm going to make this dog named, I'm going to, he looks like, what does he look like? He looks like a writer. Okay, writer. I'm going to write writer in here. My husband just laughed at me a little bit, but that's the name of this dog, writer. Okay. Now I'm gonna have fun decorating my dog, okay? Now you may not want to decorate it all crazy like I am. You may wanna give him some whiskers and some markings. I am going to really take this dog and decorate him like that festival I was talking about, Dia de los Muertos. All right, so in here, because I'm getting all decorative, you could just make ears, like, like so, see how I'm doing that? You could just put ears like that inside, but I'm feeling decorative today, so I'm going to make my ears all decorative and shaped as flowers. I 
I'll show you as I go through it alternatives. How about that? And then you can decorate your dog the way you want. Because all dogs, even French Bulldogs, have different markings. So you could do an ear like this, which would be more of a traditional dog ear, or you can decorate it all crazy and fun. And I'm gonna do that. And then I'll show you uh, my other uh, dog that I made named Jen later and show you how I colored it in. You can also, um, when you're doing this, look up pictures of French Bulldogs on the internet and you'll see that there are so many different types. There's black and white ones, there's brown ones. My friend has one and it's kind of like, almost like a calico one. It has different colors all through it. So they all have different markings. So you can really enjoy that too. All right, now the head of my dog, you could make um, the dog have like, kind of like a marking, like a, like a black spot or something here. These uh, French Bulldogs, they come in a variety of colors too. There's black ones, there's white ones, there's brown ones. But I'm going to do another kind of flower shape up here. I'm going to make a circle and then I'm going to do a decoration. I'm just kind of copying the one I, I already did. put some circles in it. Okay. Now I'm going to come down here and I'm going to add some decoration on the cheek area. Now, if you didn't want to do that, what would you do? You could make some little dots like so, which would be where the whiskers are, right? Dogs. But nope, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna make kind of a cool decoration. So I'm gonna do kind of like teardrops or, oh, I don't know what they look like. I'm gonna do three and then over here, I'm gonna do a couple. Something different. I'm going to do a little decoration on the chin of my dog over here. I'm gonna, this is the design I came up with last time, like that. And then I made little, those little teardroppies again. And then I made little dots. See, the thing with art is you can really do whatever you want with it. You're the artist, you have the control. I mean, art teachers are gonna wanna teach you certain methods, but you always, to make a good piece of art, you always wanna put your own personality into it. That's gonna make it feel like you. And if it feels like you, and it feels like your style, it's gonna be original and way, way more interesting than just a piece of art that everybody else has in the classroom. Well, that's the way I believe anyways. Everybody, every art teacher is different. Okay, so cheeks. I, in my drawing that I did, I added like kind of a cool like outline, like a flower design around my bulldog's eyes. Both eyes. As I said, you don't have to do it, but if you want to get a little crazy and original with it, go for it. I'm, I'm putting some like diamond shapes down here just for fun. Okay, so now this is what I'm gonna call my pencil is done. At this point, I'm going to outline everything. And I'm gonna show you the one I've done at this point too. Take my black Sharpie, and I'm not gonna do this, all of this, because this will take me a long time, but I'll do a couple areas. I'll show you the nose. 
I mean, I'm literally, all the pencil that I have here, I take the black Sharpie and I outline it so you don't see the pencil anymore. And any pencil that's left, I get rid of and I erase it out. Um, I'm gonna show you the eyes. There's my eye and my eye over here. Now in my drawing that I'm about to show you, I made the eyes, outline the circles, black. You could also make your eyes brown or, you know, any color you wanted. I just, I just made mine black. So I'll show you what happens when you outline the eyeball and you leave that little circle in there white for your highlight. It's pretty cool. Okay, so on and on, I would go through, and um, some of the areas I made thicker and some I made thinner. Like I made this mouth when I did mine, a little bit. See how I'm going a little thicker with it? A little thicker right in here. Okay. All right, now I'm gonna show you, once again, the one I did. So you can see how to finish this. Everything gets outlined. I colored in my nose brown. I took, first I did the inside of the dog. I did the, board, the outside later, okay? You don't have to do a background, but if you have time, it's really cool looking, right? So I went in and I started, I think I started in the eyes and I did the pink color I had, which was here. And I colored it in and colored it in. And then I moved up to the head and created a pattern with another two, two sets of colors, which are red and gray. And then what I do, and I've been talking to you about this, is I always think of balancing your colors out. I played with the colors. I didn't make it too many colors. I just took my color scheme and bounced it through my piece. So I had purple, red, gray, and pink. And I bounced it through my piece. And I used a pencil too, because I thought this would be interesting. And I actually, at the end, I actually went through my bulldog and I just practiced some shading. So you can see, you can see the shading inside the bulldog. I just added some pencil shading through it. I used my finger to kind of blend out the pencil. And I went through the bulldog that way. Now to create my background, I just took a ruler and I took all the colors that I used in my French bulldog, which would be these colors. Actually, this was purple in the one I did. And I just started making lines, tons and tons of lines. And I used all the different colors I had to make all the different lines. And I kept doing it until I barely saw any white left. Adding more and more colors. That's how I did my background. I just experimented with it and I think it looks pretty cool, but you don't have, you can do anything you want to your background. As I said, I like it when you're original. So this is my French Bulldog. I added pencil to shade it in, balance my colors. I did it in a decorative manner. You can do this, your French Bulldog, any way you want. And I look forward to seeing your art on Schoology if you have time. And thank you for taking my course. Have a wonderful day. Mm -hmm.